Alright, so that's why I gave you this credit of $1,100 or this $1,100 credit. But again, because this is, uh, this is a big amount of credit, so we need to... But it's not credit, it's, it's money that you, you messed up. Yeah, it's your mistake. <laughs> it's not credit, it's money we do not owe. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's the thing. You will receive this 1,100 uh, credit again um, after two to three, uh, within two to three billing cycles. Right, after you right. make them pay 800 and some dollars back to turn their phones on. So you're saying that you're going to only end up crediting like $300 for overcharging them over $1,000, man. That's, the, that's what you're not understanding and not... We I do guess. not have the money to have that phone tur <laughs> those phones turned back on, and they, you turned them off because you overcharged us. We was in the middle of trying to tell you what was going on today. That should be the the deciding factor Hello. right there. Hello. Hello. The, Hello. The, you, tell them the, 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 they shut yeah. shut us off in the middle of talking to them. Hello. Hello. You can hear what's going on. We don't have a telephone. Do you understand that at all? No. Is he gone? We want an AT&T store, an actual building that can handle these problems, with people in it that can handle these problems. What these people are doing is, in December, we've always had two cell phones and one hotspot. We have a hotspot up at the cabin that controls our security cameras and such. In December, the, the, the camera quit working, so we went up there and found the hotspot was not working well. So we went to the Sault Ste. Marie and tried to get one there, and it, it wouldn't work either. So. We went without the hotspot for a little while, and then in June, they, we called AT&T. They sent us another hotspot to, to try to fix it. We took it up there, and again, it would not work. Finally, in July, they sent us a third one, and we sent the one. Tammy has a receipt for sending them back. And in July, the third one worked. But since then, they've been charging us for three hot spots a month. They've got our, they, they've overcharged us eleven hundred dollars. And then today, when we was calling to complain about it and try to get it right, they shut our phones off. We had been on the phone for over an hour with them, and our phones quit. So we tried our home phone, and our home phone went dead. Of course, because we don't use it. So we borrowed Jeremy's phone to call back, and this is where they are. They say we have to pay them, and let, let me backtrack a little bit. Let me go to last month. We thought we had, last month we went, we called, thought it all taken care of. They was going to credit us 300 and some this month that they thought they had overcharged us. So it went from 300 to 1100 according to this guy. So they know they overcharged us. Oh, okay. Man, I'm about to have a freaking stroke. AT&T, AT&T. Our phones aren't back yet. Jeremy's still negotiating with the AT&T extortionists. Sounds like they're gonna trade the $1,100 they owe us that they say is a credit they wanna give us over three billing cycles in exchange for the $860 that they're demanding that we pay in order to turn our phones back on that they turned off in the middle of trying to figure this full out. I swear. Anyways, stay tuned. So I'm waiting here. Phone's still not working, but they say within an hour they should come back on. This ain't right. The Saint Ray extortion, the way I look at it. I'd appreciate 
If anybody knows anybody at AT&T to let me know if they're higher up, or if nothing else, just spread this video all over the place because this is fact what they've done. And it's not right. It's just not right. See ya.